pissed off the offense seeing this since the first pick, but not at this tournament so far. Huh, weird hitbox. I mean also Mark wasn't that high, but you know. Okay, so I, I said I wasn't gonna look at chat, but uh I don't know why Tyrell didn't enter. I also hear Ozzy might not enter singles. He was playing Mark in friendlies. And his Mark looks really good, but anyway, that's your insider information. But uh regardless, we are seeing pretty even game so far, but Fox could die at any moment. Mars could die at any moment. Falco could die at any moment. So really it's just Meeseek's holding it down right now. And indeed. Oh, I guess it wasn't that even. I missed that it was three, then three. Okay. Enter our situation. I'm just going to get up and up smash. So pretty good conversion. A little bit of a team's combo, but me six comes in to break it up. So this is back to being pretty even. Uh, Falco, yeah, Tempest is dead, and now so too goes me six. And because Fox is really good in this game, he's gonna single-handedly almost turn this around, the dimension that is. But. That should be his stock. It's not though, great angle. Great choice to just go right above the stage. Not usually great, but in that case, hard to cover for sheep. So back to even stocks and almost even. Didn't really see how the mark died, but you know, it happens. It happens to the best of us, it definitely happens to the worst of us. Doesn't I would like to see him jump out with a forward air there, but I understand not going to hit. Also, he might, not, he might not have been able to react to whether that was up to your side B until it was too late to go out there with a forward air. At any rate, although it's never really too late to go out there with a forward air, still. Pretty solid position here for Dimension Metal Reaper. And indeed, they again have a slim lead, a slim advantage. Really, Mi Seeks has to kind of turtle and hope that uh, he can get that. And now it's about killing Fox, but Me6 dies first. Fox does die though, and now it's a 1v1 for game one here in Winners Finals. Just laser pressure on FD, pretty good. Uh, we're getting some shield stops here. Just gonna back throw, tech chase a little bit. Just trying to roll through, not working. Good power shield. Up tilt's not gonna get a follow up. Tries to dash in and he tries dash grabbing by accident, which isn't gonna work and gets punished for it. Laser setting back up. Not really getting hit by him, but definitely restricting movement. Uh, not able to punish the forward smash. The power shield. Still rolling, maybe more than he would like to. Also not seeing uh, great movement out of him, but it's hard. It definitely is hard. But basically, with through lasers and lasers alone, Tempest is going to win this. Laser pressure, unless he does something like that. Like that forward smash was scary, but Metal Reaper unable to punish. Getting, uh... Yeah, okay, yeah, that, you don't really, uh... You don't really have an opportunity there as Marth to perfectly sweet spot, so you're taking a risk every time you do that. Or perfectly refresh your invincibility. Um, yeah. So we'll go to game two. Uh, definitely a rough life as Marth against Falco on FD sometimes. When, you're not, when the laser game starts up and you're not able to close down the space easily. So game two here in Pokemon Stadium. Makes sense, Sheik's bad on the stage. That's all the logic you really need. All right. Nice roll up to take the first stock there from Metal Reaper. Oh, Metal Reaper's Fox. Okay, that's my bad. Oh, I forgot Dimension's Mark. There you go. And of course, Metal Reaper just plays everybody. I didn't remember that Dimension's played Mark. At any rate, I'm just taking Trump's word for it here.
Yeah, Marth doesn't like uh, Quackless lasers because he pretty much wants to stay grounded, and it's hard to do that without really good way to dash out of shields and power shields and or power shields. But mostly and. Regardless, uh, taking a little bit of a vacation there from you guys on the first bit of this game, just doing bad things. So now that we're not doing those, following those bad habits anymore, we can see that Metal Reaper and uh, Dimension are making. Yeah, I forgot that Marth was a. Uh, that Dimension was a Marth thing. I've definitely played him a tournament before. Uh. And I would prefer Fox in teams as well, so if I could play Fox. So I'm not surprised that uh, Metal Reaper would pick him. So... Also makes more sense why Dimension was... It also makes more sense to see Dimension lose that to Tempest than Metal Reaper, although I probably still would favor Victor over both of them. Regardless, this is looking more like the game that they wanted. Alright. This is getting tighter and tighter, but it's always was in Dimension and Metal Reaper's grasp. And now it's a matter of time for Tempest. Can he make the 2v1 comeback? The answer is no. I mean, could he? Yes. Will he? No. You can put it. You can take that to the bank. He gets. He almost got one. Not quite. Fox is too good. There's a forward smash. Grab ledge. So you're dead. Okay. Where do you. I green land, maybe? Yeah, I don't know. Where do you go? I should talk up. Hey, Mark II. We got Mark II walking in the room. Don't know if he's gonna sit down. He looks like he's sitting down. Not much. Uh, you're gonna want to move the mic to your face, though. Where is it? It is here. I have found it. And yeah, there we are. Coming so. at you, good people of the stream. Where are we in bracket? This is winners final. So best game of three. Five. Okay, and all right, so Metal Reaper and Dimension, yes, rocking the Pew Pew U or the Pew Fat team uh, yes. composition. Yes. Fox Marth, something we've seen a lot of. Yes, uh, an, an interesting team to say because Marth, you know, one of the reasons that he's not considered a uh, super fantastic team's character is because he, he has a he takes a while to set up his combos. He takes up a lot of space, but yes. also he uh, he has a lot of trouble saving his teammates. Yeah, he does. Also, his moves tend to be really laggy, uh, like a afterwards. So it's easy in a two v one situation to just come in and punish him. If, for example, he throws out a forward smash, but even if he throws something out like an up air or an up tilt, it's very punishable. Uh -huh. Yeah. So his, his teammate needs to be there to bust him out of some stuff when he's getting comboed. And but one of the strengths of Marth is that he's able to help his teammate out fairly well from a safe distance, popping him out and. Uh, really helping out his teammate when he gets in trouble. And that's something that the team needs to do. But me seeks Tempest, the ragtag team, just thrown together at the last minute, up seven stocks to three. They're making it work. They're definitely making it work. Uh, game one was really close for them uh, as a win, but uh, this game definitely lost close. They're making the, they're making the counter pick work, but he just gets them. Metal, just gets Reaper. Them. Metal Reaper just tries and fails. And so that's, we're gonna go to, uh, we are going to go to game four, it looks like. We're going to see some hero play from Metal Reaper, but it's not. Uh, not looking too good. So Six I'm gonna, stocks? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a... Since this is a 2v1, I'm going to go and say that Rad Dude uh, was playing Kirby in Winner's Round 1, which is on stream. However, when we saw him again, he was playing Falco. So if they beat Weedle and Grog, I'm pretty sure he would have been playing Falco. Although you never know. Rad Dude Scuba, for you guys... Uh, who may or may not know him is Adam, uh, aka yeah. Fridge from yeah, Temple. Fridge. So you know he doesn't really main Kirby. So game three, I believe it took under two minutes. That's what we're cleaning seeing. up real fast. Yes, just 
you know, Marth can die pretty quickly, Fox can die pretty quickly, it's volatile. So, Dimension like and that. Metal Reaper going to their counter pick, and this is their winner's bracket life yep. on the line with this game four. Yes. It's, uh, it's an interesting pick because, you know, uh, she would probably like to stage Falco. I mean, like, it's just a, kind of a neutral stage. It's not really a counter pick per se. Uh, but we'll see. So far, it has uh, not really been working out too much, but that's mostly just because of, you know, one stock. It, it, it's volatile. It happens. Now, we haven't talked about the team composition of Falco Sheik. Yeah. Another pretty interesting one because Sheik, unlike Marth, has many, many excellent tools in saving her teammate and also pushing other characters that may be guarding the ledge off of it, giving Falco's slightly stunted recovery even, well, it really covers for its weaknesses. And it's a pretty, it's a pretty strong team when played correctly. Yeah, I mean, we haven't seen uh, many saves from either of them so far, whether that's down to communication, yeah. synergy, what have you. Uh, just not a lot of opportunities or just bad play, who knows. Uh, now, uh, let me just take a moment and say Tempest, the Fox Slayer, super, super skilled. His partner, his uh, training partner, usually is R2 Dilu. So we've actually seen it uh, time and time again in this set where he just absolutely plays around Metal Reaper's hitboxes and then suddenly takes him for a ride, sometimes sending him off the bottom or side blast zone. Just yeah. super good against the character. But he and just spikes his teammate. His own teammate, yeah. Yeah, it happens. You know, you're Falco, you're throwing out a strong hitbox. Anybody throwing out a strong hitbox, sometimes you hit the wrong person. Just need to space better around each other. And that dare is uh, enormous, so that you will... There will be some friendly fire incidents. Blue team yeah. still down, but suddenly evened up with uh, down, throw up, down throw up air. Uh, NTSC Sheik is pretty good. Sheik kill confirms coming from Mises. Yep. Yeah. He's just saying, seeing them green, but they are actually a blue team. But uh, 66 and 102 on the blue team, pretty yeah. high percent. Yeah, definitely. Need to pull something together. Metal Reaper's out there. Yeah, he went out there. He found it. Ooh. He went, and, he went and done get it, done did it. Yeah, and that actually put him in Dimension in the lead. Just a great nair. Very yeah. risky. I mean, they pretty much were in the nair, uh, in the lead. It was kind of a situation where you were going to see a two-stock swing unless uh, one of Me Seeks or Tempest just went ham. It didn't happen. Although, uh, Dimension just kind of killed himself. So, who knows? Ooh. All right. Tempest. Tempest is with it all to do, and that should be it. All right. Game five. Metal Reaper is out there. This is this is what you wanted to see. This is what you wanted to see from uh, from your winners finals. We want to see more melee. We're gonna see a game five. And are we going back to battlefield? I hope not. So this will determine who moves on to grand finals for tonight. Find Absolutely. the bracket. Exclamation point bracket is just in there. Smash GG yeah. slash salt. Someone 44. just hit it. But if you're just joining us, you can go there. If you want just to go to the direct link, it's smash.gg slash salt 44. That will do it. Smash at the lab Tuesday. Speaking of, that is where we are. Peep it in the bottom of the layout. Five Williams Lane in Hatboro, PA. Come out for melee. Other activities. Uh, Pokin, Street Fighter 5, Smash 4. It's all here. Uh, the... Venue will be closed later in the week, though, for Super Smash Con. Will you be in attendance? No. Oh, no I will money. Not <laughs> and also, school starts soon. Ah, yeah, yeah. You are a temple, right? No, I'm not. I'm oh. at Cabrini. Okay. Anyway. Oh, so okay, okay. We're going to Game, game five. 5. Yep. Back, in ba back on Battlefield, just deciding to grin and bear it. Just lost here, but... Now, what do you think that blue team needs to change in order to make this stage a, a counter pick that they, will actually work for them? They need to hold stage position and uh, convert when they get the op their openings. Uh, they were just kind of pushed off and uh, held off, and it's happening again. They were doing well in the, at the start, but then Falco just kind of goes out, his mm -hmm. plane gets put out, and that's all she wrote. And that's a dead mark. Metal Reaper just absolutely killing at the ledge against Tempest. And Dimension, just very patient against Sheik's recovery. Something that's very, yeah. very exploitable. Yeah, uh, when Marth misses a sweet spot like that, you really have to just... You really just have to smack him. 
uh, from from Sheik there. Well, oh. Opportunity to kill Metal Reaper at 23%, not working out, and instead eats an up air. The young Fox reversal there, just able to turn it around. So many stocks and so many sets have been lost to a final Sakurai combo. Yeah, you know, it happens. The reverse edge guard. And that might be something the blue team really needed down a full stock in winner's finals game five. Yeah, it's, and you know, definitely uh, Mart's really close to death here, but he's not dead yet, and as now, long as, well now he is. Now you played this character, what do you think Mart's role is in any team composition, especially uh, this one? He's mostly there to pick up uh, combos and maybe try to start stuff with uh, the tools that he does have uh, and try to, try to continue them if he gets thrown out, but he's mostly just trying to space out and... Uh, so it depends on what the team comp is and what he's trying okay. to do overall. Yeah. All right. But he's he's never going to be the main dude. Oh, what? Yeah, uh, Me6 has been getting those, but uh, obviously and that time didn't lead to a stock. And, and I think the stock before, he actually hit Bobby while he was off stage with the most godlike needle. Like, he was actually flying out as well. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, there, there was a needle, I believe. So, mm -hmm. Me6 really trying to keep him and Tempest in this winner's bracket but still down one stock. Metal Reaper gets a very early kill with that up smash relative to uh, the move down. Yeah, okay, that's a that's Dimension Dead again. All right, um, but a Shine Spike pickup from Metal Reaper kills him at 4%. Yeah, Tempest once again in a position where he's basically hopeless, but ooh, trade it, could, it could happen, but it won't happen. Oh my you god. See, that's, that's the kind of thing that Marth wants to do. He just wants to hit the character back towards his teammate when he gets flung towards him. Now we'll do it. You have winner's side of grand yeah. finals for tonight's doubles bracket. All right, and uh, we're going to have Mark II go play.